Hey guys, so I'm coming to you from my crappy webcam right now. Wanted to apologize. There will not be video on this podcast. We had a snafu with my camera. So anytime you should be getting a visual aid, you're not going to get it. So I'm going to add pictures to account for that. And this is going to be an audio podcast. And I apologize for that. Thank you. All right. Marker. Ah, Jesus Christ. Hell. <laughs> That's so I can sync up the audio. God. Anyway. Anyway, episode Let's one. Crack open this bad boy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, so episode one of this podcast. Welcome to the Pitch Black Podcast. First time I've done a video podcast before. I did a podcast 10 years ago with Ken, and it was literally just us sitting in his mom's garage on his laptop talking into rock band mics. Sounds very high production value. Hey, we were trying. We were trying. I got my slow laptop here just for show. I let the cat out of the bag. It's just for show. Well, now they know. You we're watching. Close it. <laughs> yeah, we're not professional at all. I'm watching on the actual computer everything that's going on. So, uh, yeah, first episode of the podcast. I'm not quitting on this. This is going to be a thing I'm going to do. Now it's, no, it's recorded. It's a verbal contract. This is really happening. Okay. This, this is a real thing out in the world. But uh, what kind of gamer are you? What kind Since of we're gamer? we're introducing ourselves. Do you want me to introduce my channel first, or what? Or what kind of gamer? All right, introduce your channel. All right. Um, how would I do that? Just fine. I'll do it for you. Yeah, just do it. This, you this you is introduce friend, me. This is my friend Billy. I met him through my cousin Alex, who's basically my brother. They used to work together at uh, Roberts, as we like to call at it. At old Bob's. At old Bob Evans. Bob's Bakery. Down on the farm. <laughs> And uh, you can find him at X Arsenal. I'm going to put that on the screen. That's where you're going to find his YouTube and his Twitch. And uh, have fun finding his YouTube. Yeah, if you can find it. Because you're just going to find Arsenal soccer clips. Yeah, and I couldn't even find it today after I, I typed in I, Sniper. I had, to, well, I had so. to type in X Arsenal Car 98. That's how you saw me? That's how I found it. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So you, you might he might have to rebrand at some point. I don't, yeah, I don't know. We haven't decided yet. Figured this out. But uh, what kind of content can we expect from you, Halo? What Halo content? Yeah, Halo, um, Halo Reach just dropped. What uh, 12, 12 days ago? Dropped on the fourth or the third. So that was thirteen days ago. And when it dropped, I'd love to be able to play it, but for some reason, my computer is giving me an error, and I'm not moving Modern Warfare off my C drive for Halo. I can understand so, I'm that. Sorry, I would have loved to play it at launch too, but you know, I downloaded it to my hard drive. Like most people recommend you do when you download a game. And apparently my hard drive was too slow to play the game. So after, what, four or five days of me returning my router, getting a new IP address, what else did I do to fix it? Um, uninstalled twice, reinstalled. Then I, then I did it to the SSD, and now I can finally play the game. So now I can finally create content for the most recent Halo game. And the entire time you were saying that, I was picturing the band playing off the survivors of the Titanic. Hopefully. That's all I could think of. God. Tragic time. And now I'm dropping frames on stream. So if it's not one thing, it's another thing. That is true. That is how it works. Unless yeah. you, unless you're already a big commodity and you have thousands of dollars to throw at things, these things are going to happen. And even that happens to them too. So it does. welcome to content creation where you fix one, you plug one hole and three more oh, yeah. pop up. I've seen like big companies, they'll be like, hey, we had a technical difficulty and we're not going to be able to post the video we promised you today. And then every, just the hate. And I'm like, I don't really think you guys understand how hard it is, but it's I just mean, not, it's not that easy. A lot of those, a lot of those people have never done anything like They're, they are the kind of people that have never done anything creative recording, before. recording YouTube content, recording stream, streaming, editing videos, placing it. All that stuff is very, very difficult. Like, it takes a lot of time to get used to doing it. And if you're not used to it, it's it's a very tough learning curve. Even with all the videos on YouTube and everything. Some some of the smallest things can just be so difficult. One thing that people like to say is, uh, they'll be like, oh, it's so easy. All you do is play video games. And it's like, yeah, it's really hit, not. Like, hit start streaming. Yeah. Well, right. I guess I would say, and this is a controversial take, streaming is easier than making edited content. Oh, yeah. It is easier. However, you have to be entertaining at all times. You have to produce the content Because on someone stream. will come into my stream 
And if in two seconds something sick isn't happening, they're gone. They're gonna be like, "This is awful. I'm out." Bye. Yeah, people. Then, people's attention span. It's so low now. In a Twitch chat is that it's of a minuscule. goldfish. Yeah, it's min- it's absolutely minuscule. And now, now that they're running ads to get into every stream, there's a 30 second ad. So, you know, first of all, thanks to the ad revenue. But after that 30 seconds, you're in there, and I'm, if they don't see a double kill, a triple kill, an overkill, what's what's gonna stop them from leaving? You know what I mean? There's not action in every five seconds. You know, sometimes you gotta let your shields recharge. Same playing FIFA. I'm not gonna score a goal every five seconds when someone comes in the chat. The issue is that everyone expects you to be shroud too. Yeah, I mean everyone everyone wants that type of content. Or and it's that, like that with that everything. Level. It's not just content creation. It's with new game releases, yeah. new movies, new TV shows. Everybody wants instant gratification, so they want it to be the most profound thing they've ever seen or played. Right now, they want it now, and if it's not the best game they've ever played, it's trash. It's they garbage. go to something else. Yeah. And then when a, a genuinely amazing game gets a 10 on some review site, they freak out. Yeah. Or if something gets a 10 and their favorite game of all time got a 9, they're going to be like, you're really going to tell me that this is... This is better than this? This is perfect compared to my baby, my greatest thing ever? And I'm like, I think you guys need to ease off the gas. This is, this, you're going to tell me this is better than MCC's original launch? That's actually something we're going to get to. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that. You, uh, we derailed yeah, you put already, the, didn't we? That's that's good. <laughs> we're we're uh, dragging it out. We're hanging out with you guys. All right, so we got past the introduction, which TJ is going to put all the social links and everything They're going to be the in screen. lower thirds. you probably already seen them, and by probably, I mean you definitely have. Yeah, um, I, I want to ask, this, thing, this, is, this is probably my favorite question when I was thinking about making a podcast, is what is the earliest memory you had with Playing a video game. Playing a video game, the earliest memory that I have. Um, I think the first console I got was a, a PS1. I think it was a PS1. For, for the record, he's a few years old, younger than me. Um, Two years younger than me. Either a PS1 or a Nintendo 64. Which Tony Hawk was on PS1? Was one it Underground? And, one and two. On PS1? Yeah. One and two. Tony Hawk's one? Sorry, one through, underground. One, one through four were on there, but starting with three, they were on PS2. Okay. So one and two. Underground was from 2003, <sighs> dude, my dude. it might have been Spyro on PS1. Okay. I think it, it's either that or Crash Bandicoot on PS1. I think those are my first two games so if I that played. Ca- yeah, if that came out when I was six, of, that came out when you were four. Outside of Pokemon Blue. That might actually be my first memory. Because I had to learn how to read. You know what? I actually I didn't put that in notes, but I'd like to talk about... Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but my earliest video gaming memory is definitely Christmas, I want to say 1994, because I believe this is when The Lion King came out. Oh, um, yeah. So it was either 94 or 95, but I want to say 94. We got a Sega Genesis and The Lion King, which, holy the lord, as a four-year-old, you know how hard it was for me to be, I can't wait to be king? That's unbelievably difficult. And uh, it came with, it came bundled with college football national championship, which if came you look at it now, with that? yeah, the Lion King. No, 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 no. We bought Lion King. But oh, the console I was came bundled. No, 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 hell no. of a combination. No, 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 no. The Sega Genesis came bundled with college football's national championship too. Okay. And that game was awesome. The little like chip tunes of the fight songs and everything. And it was very colorful. It was very easy to learn because like if if a four year old was trying to play Madden now, oh my god. Yeah. But, but I, it was I very, it was very Genesis. easy to learn. I actually, I could play that game today. That game was awesome. That college football game. Now the Lion King either just did or it is about. It had to have come out the remaster of the Lion King and Aladdin. Okay. Oh, and the movies. Yeah, what, yeah. What, no, no, no. Games? Video games. Really? So I, I, I could have sworn I brought this up in Discord or something. Anyway, uh-huh. um, the Lion King remastered, and it comes with the Genesis, the Super Nintendo, and the Game Boy version. Okay. Awesome. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. I was only I was only two in '94, so I didn't. I yeah. missed. Yeah, I was. Four. I wasn't developing hand-eye coordination that early. Right, but speaking of an early video game memory, I remember. So this was 1998. Okay. Yeah. The Pokemon anime was already on TV mm-hmm. that summer, and then a few months when later. When did it start in Japan? '96. '96. Started in Japan so in '96 when the company was. The made. development of Pokemon started in 1990, and they kept getting Gen turned 1. down. Really? Yeah, they kept getting turned down by Nintendo. Okay. So you got to think, from the time I was born to the time I turned eight years old, 
was how long it took to come out in America. Right. But the anime was starting to air a few months before the game came out, and we were like, this is a good show. Yeah. This is a really good show. Um, even though the anime in Japan, so the game came out, they made the anime, the anime came out in America, then the game came out in America. Yeah. So and, it uh, came out in 98, right? Yeah. Late 98? Yes. So I remember I, I had six my... six years old? Oh, yeah. I was eight. I had my little red Game Boy Pocket in black and white. Game Boy Pocket? I never had one of those. It was the fat original Game Boy. There was the Game Boy Pocket, which was smaller, and instead of taking four double A's, it took two triple A's, okay. which was good. And... Uh, Batteries. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, Jeez. <laughs> What's Stone Age technology? What's that? What is that? How many how many batteries fit in this thing? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> any hoozle. But uh, that game came out, and I got Pokemon Red was the first one I got. Okay, so you sucked naturally. Oh yeah, and I picked Charmander. Better. So well, you know, yeah. as a child, it took me five days to get through the first gym with Char- which is Charmander. Yeah, and then uh, we both pick hard mode. I don't know why, for some reason, I didn't get very far in Red. And then for Christmas, I got blue. Okay. And a Game Boy Color. So I played blue on that Game Boy Color, and the last I knew, that game save had over 330 hours on it. Dude, how much were those when they first came out? Was it like 30 bucks? I want to say $40. I was going to say, I, can't, I remember going to Kmart to get it. Um, this I was say $40. This was before Christmas. So what? What are you thinking? Like September or o- October, maybe, maybe even November, to get. Um, yeah, look it up. Keep talking. <laughs> um, I remember going to Target. No, Kmart, which is obsolete now. Are they out of business? Kmart fully out of I business. I believe they're fully out of business now. All the ones around here are out of business. Yeah. So I remember going there, and I remember exactly where the game section is. I could draw you a map right now, and I remember it was in the last case. And I'm thinking to myself, why is this in the last case? It's the brand new game. It should be right here. And I needed to get a Game Boy as well. Game Boy Color. And all they had left was purple. And I remember, dude, purple's a girl's color. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, dude, if I don't get the, if I don't get a Game Boy Color, I don't play Pokemon. I had the clear had purple, the clear purple Game Boy one? Advance. And it was, it was actually yeah. pretty sick. I had a yellow Game Boy Color. Okay. Dandelion yellow. Fact checker. Uh, well, I'm getting conflicting yeah. reports. Um, February 27, 1996 is when it came out in Japan. Okay. And then I wouldn't say two and a half years later. So somewhere towards the end of 98. Oh, yeah. Because I know I got red for Christmas after having blue and getting it confiscated at lunch when I was in elementary school. Oh, okay. North America, September 28th. Okay. So I would have gotten it on... I wanted to say September. I wasn't going to lie, though. Yeah. So I got it in September and I played it for a few months and I probably got frustrated. Right. And then I got blue... And you know my dumb ass picked Charmander again. Of course. Why wouldn't you? But then I played that over 300 hours, and I beat the Elite Four so many times. Oh, my God. No. And then, you know, I discovered the old man glitch. And I... The missing no glitch? Mm-mm. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. How? You're a Gen 1-er. I am a Gen. That's the only I, Gen. I, I, I can't stand Gen 1 anymore. Gen I try to play it on my Gen. 3DS. Oh, my goodness. It's borderline unplayable. I love it for what it started but oh my god it's atrocious um that old man in viridian city that you speak to that'll teach you how to catch pokemon before you before you get to professor oak hold on you start in pallet town you go to uh-huh. viridian city you can't get through viridian oh, city because yeah. they'll stop you yeah 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 and about his coffee and whatnot mm-hmm. and then i'll show you how to catch pokemon when that pops up it says old man as his name. Yeah. And when Old Man replaces your name, it does something weird with the RAM. Because they had such technical limitations that it right. throws out your name and brings in Old Man. And when that happens, you fly down to Cinnabar Island. You surf along the coast. And that one coastal line will mess with that Old Man code. And you'll pop up Missing No as a Pokemon. Whenever you catch or don't catch them. Don't catch them. Just kill them. It'll mess up your game. You kill Missing No, or I think you can run away. I'm not sure, but just Ooh. kill Missing No. Missing No, Missing Number. It'll come up as a Pokemon that's not in the game. real. Yes. Oh, okay. 
So when you kill Missing Gnome, it gives you another 128 of the sixth item in your inventory. So if you put rare candies in the right, sixth yeah, slot yeah. and you go kill Missing Gnome, you have 128 rare candies now. Wow. Yep. I didn't know that existed. Yep. So when you get bored, you can just mess with the game. I don't think For the record, card. I don't think you can transfer Pokemon that are messed up from Missing No to Pokemon Bank, so don't try that. Do it for fun, but don't... Do it in an emulator or something, but don't do it on your 3DS. <laughs> so we got derailed, but I want to say, Pokemon Gen 2 is my favorite. Gen 2 is not bad. Gold Silver, right? Yes. Gold Silver. I've never played Crystal. Whenever I finish... I when Speaking I finish Red... <clears throat> yep. Whenever I finish Red, I will buy Crystal specifically for my 3DS. Because there's some... Uh, Color enhancements, little graphical enhancements. Right. The sprites move for a few frames. Like, they'll, like, open their mouth and, like, flap yeah. wings or whatever. Um, so that's cool. And, like, every time you go to a new route, it pops up with a name under it. Okay. Which it didn't do before. And there's, like, an extra backstory with Suicune. Okay. To where he just gives you Suicune. And you don't have to go chase him around the world. Fuck. Yeah. They're just making it so easy for these kids. Yeah. And since I'm on a roll, did Pokemon, you get shield or or sword at all? I don't have a switch. Oh, what? You know that? I have all these. Really? I thought games I thought you and had two one. Nintendo 64s that are not pictured it's, here. It's very good Sorry, game. Right here. It's a very good game. I got consoles just sitting around with dust all over them. That's what mine looks like. I have a watermelon black one. Too. one. We're just playing and show and tell. I, now. I sold my black one. We're just playing show and tell. I don't even play these because I have no. I can't plug them into my big TV. No, oh, that's right. You need an adapter. Yeah. But what's beautiful, this is going to be an unpaid ad if I can find it. Oh, I thought it was sitting back here. I have... We're getting paid. We got sponsors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got sponsors. Um, Pound is the name of the company. All sexual jokes aside. Um, <laughs> and I bought a PS2, original Xbox, and a Dreamcast HDMI cable from them, and they're great. I know they just came out with the Sega Genesis one. I believe they have a Super Nintendo one. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And if you get the PS2 one, you can use it with the PS1 because those are the same cables. I don't know if you ever knew that. Sure. PS1, 2, and 3 have the same cables, not including HDMI. So you can use that pound cable on all three. I was not listening to a word you said. That's fine. But I'm sure they were. That's fine. I, I hope That's they were the because those are great products. <laughs> I'd, I'd recommend those to anyone. I play my PS2 on the 60-inch on an HDMI all the time. It looks great. I love it. Um, well, since we were talking Derailed about Pokemon, again. Gen 3, I did not play right away. Which was... Because I was growing Ruby out of Pokemon. Sapphire? Ruby and Sapphire. I was growing out of Pokemon. Red, Fire Red and Leaf Green, too. Those are great remakes. Yeah. Didn't really get a chance to play them, though. I think I had Leaf Green, but I didn't. I yeah, just I didn't really play it. Yeah, I had Leaf Green as well. This is a funny story. So I didn't get Gen 3 right when it came out because I was getting out of Pokemon. I got suspended my freshman year for fighting. I did not start the fight. I wouldn't start a fight with anyone, even as an adult. I don't start fights. Um, I got in a fight because I defended myself. I got suspended for a month. Or not a month. A week. I meant to say a week. Say holy. I meant to say a week. Paid Jeez. vacation. That would have been a great vacation. I meant to say a week. Um, so it was, this is the best part. There was one week before Christmas vacation. I got suspended on that Friday. So I got suspended for the whole week before Christmas vacation, and then I had all of Christmas vacation. And then I had a Best Buy gift card, and I went to Best Buy, and I couldn't figure out what to buy. So I was just like, you know what? I haven't heard much about Pokemon anymore. Because we were, you know, we're too cool for Pokemon now. We're in I high think school. I, ever I was never too Pokemon. cool for Pokemon, now that I think about just it. Just let the record I have a Pikachu show. piggy bank right behind the camera. <laughs> But uh, I went to Best Buy and I was like, oh, I'll give Pokemon Sapphire a chance. Okay. I liked it until I got to the eighth. I got to the eighth gym, and I completely lost momentum. That was Mudkip's generation, right? Yeah, I picked Trico though. Okay. I like Trico. Um, it's a good game. I actually, I I'm one of the few people that likes the contests. They have like beauty, coolness, toughness. Oh, I hate stats. that. Oh my I actually God, liked them. It was them. so bad. It was just something else to do to me. And it was even. even I wasn't worse like going. Sun and moon. I wasn't like going ham on the contest or anything. I just thought it was a really cool addition. Like just one more thing we can do. Um, Glad I got money back from that. Gen game. four. I never had a DS until the 3DS came out. 
Really? Yes, because I had a PSP, which is also a great console. My battery exploded in my PSP. Wow. Because it got hot. Right. And the battery just... So, so I wasn't able to play it. I guess I skipped right past it. You played Gen 3, though, right? When it was new? Which was the... That was Mudkip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I played... I played... I don't remember which one it was, but I played it. Now, you played Omega Ruby Alpha, Alpha Sapphire, though, right? Played, did not beat. Okay. But I played, yes. I did not beat the Elite Four. Because some some weird stuff started happening and I lost my job and stuff and I didn't feel like playing Pokemon. That was that was a weird story there too. That's the only job I ever got fired from and I got myself fired because I just didn't want to be there. It sucked. I hated that job. Um, The remakes are amazing. I will definitely play through them again. I can't find my copy of Omega Ruby. I have the case here. It's okay. sitting right over there. I have the case. Cannot find the card for the game to save my life. Can't find it. So I bought Alpha Sapphire, okay. and I will be playing it. So I have I, I rebought a bunch of the games, and uh, I know I'm skip I'm still not to Gen four or five or whatever, but I bought a bunch of the games again, and I really want to push through and play all the Pokemon games. But the only ones I don't have now are I can't find my copy of Heart Gold for some reason, never and that's it. the best one. It's it's a remake of Gold and Silver, and it's awesome. Yeah, I never it's played it. Fourth Gen remake. It's awesome. Um, the only ones I don't have now are Black 2 or White 2, and I don't have Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. Those are the only ones I don't have. Dude, Sun and Moon was the worst experience. Worst, um, the, My worst gaming experience I've heard that was from Pokemon of, Sun and yeah, Moon. I've heard that a lot. It's, it's, like, it's not even close. Like, Out of all the bad games I've played... Sun and Moon have got to be the worst I've ever played. My Pokemon having a Z move and going Super Saiyan was literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like Mega Evolution wasn't enough. I never played X and Y. I never I didn't got either. I played I played Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. That though. seems pretty cool. When you go like Dynamax, the new one, it's actually kind of cool. But Z moves, it it just didn't. It just wasn't it for me. I'm glad I was able to return that game and get like forty bucks back. I. uh... I've heard very similar from the internet and people yeah. I've talked to. I mean, I'm still going to play it, but I guess it's, you know, it's dumbed down. Z moves, this, yeah. that. There's many. It literally these, tells you step by step. Hey, take a right here. Take a left here. Go this, do yeah, this. Yeah, all these mitigating factors that make it crap. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to play it, but I'm not. Skip it. I'm not expecting a lot. Don't even waste your money on it. It's not that it's. If it wasn't called Pokemon, I'm sure people would be like, this is a pretty okay game. Yeah. But since it's Pokemon, it's like slap well, in the face. They called this new game Call of Duty. That's a good game. They slapped Call of Duty on the cover of this Battlefield game that they released. Oh, yeah. I like the new Call of Duty, actually. It's the first fun I've had with Call of Duty in a really long time. Um, But I didn't play Gen 4 because I didn't have a 3DS. I In high school, everybody had their 3ds in the lunchroom with pearl and Di- or diamond and pearl and they were like oh my god this is awesome we love this game and everybody does love gen 4 and i de- i still haven't gotten a chance to play it i bought pearl but for some reason the the copper inside it was corroded so i couldn't play it no oh. i just bought platinum and it's a much newer cartridge and from what i hear platinum is the one to play so I'm I'm looking forward to that, but I'm really slogging through Gen One right now. I'm trying so hard, and it's just ugh. Best Gen, man. Take your time. And I have my Spell I have my roses. strategy guide. Really? I I will Still. go get it. I'll get it. It's right here. It Still has the Gen One strat guide. I believe it's right here. It's not right there. No. You tried. It's sitting somewhere here. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. This is awesome. I might cut out me walking off frame. But, uh, what's inside here? Jeez. Oh, this is, you know how old this thing is? Yeah. Me and my sister had the stickers put in here with, and she'd mark them blue or red for if me or her had them. Yo, that's sick. Yeah, it showed you when when they learn all the moves and when they evolve and everything. Slash 34, flamethrower 46, fire spin. Does it doesn't even say what level they evolve. Yeah, oh, yeah, there it is, 36. Yeah, it does. It does. 
It's a great guide. Yeah, because you got Venusaur four levels The only thing this doesn't show that I wish it did... It's dope. It doesn't show attack power. So when yeah, you look in the... that stat. Yeah. When, stat it, when you look in the back, it says what TMs and HMs they can learn. Oh, man. How much pee, power man. points the moves have. But it won't tell you the attack power no. is the thing that I hate. That thing was $11. Back in the day, you could get a guide for $11. Wow. This thing is the GOAT. I wish I could find the gold and silver one. The gold and silver one was even better. It had a shiny cover and everything. It had Lugia and Ho-Oh on it. Those are great memories. Awesome memories. Of playing like Pokemon Stadium at my dad's house. I'd bring my Pokemon games from my Pokemon mom's. Pokemon Stadium, what a good... I'd bring the Pokemon game. games from my mom's over to my dad's, pop them in the transfer pack, play with my Pokemon. It was awesome. Dang. But uh, Gen 5. experience. Gen 5. What gen are we on now? Gen 5, black and white. I hate... Hate the battling graphic style. Because it's like... They did more animations, so like everything's like wings are constantly flapping and constantly moving and in doing that everything's super pixely and it just it hurts to look at i mean it was fine on the regular ds's screen but once you blow it up on like a 3ds xl yeah it looks even worse the overworld looks fine but the battling is terrible and just the new pokemon were not my cup of tea there were a few i liked there were a few i liked there's only like a couple from this generation that i actually like I'm using all Gen 1 Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and um, Shield. So anyway, that was another one that I beat the 8th gym, but I did not beat the Elite Four. Yeah. I lost momentum. Sucks. Yeah. Um, But then Gen 6, I have never played. That's not true. I played Omega Ruby. That technically counts as Gen 6, but I didn't play X or Y. That's another one I bought X and I plan to play. Um, So then Gen 7, Sun and Moon... I bought that. I haven't played it yet. And then Sword and Shield. And I don't have a Switch, but I'm so far from getting to that. It's a good console. Yeah, I want one. I just... You need to play, um... Zelda game. You know, I've never played Zelda. What? I've never played Zelda. I've never played Zelda. You've never played Ocarina of Time? I've never played Zelda. In your whole human existence, you've never played a Zelda game? I've never played Zelda. Not a single, not a single, Link, Link's Awakening, The Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, nothing. The Ocarina of Time might be the best game ever made in the history of games. I didn't ever have a Nintendo console at home. Okay. A Nintendo home console at home until the... Until I had an N64 and I was already like past those games and they cost a lot. Ooh. And then I never had a GameCube. I had a Wii for like two weeks and got rid of it. Shh. Yeah. I'll show you something though. Right behind the camera, I had the Nintendo Classic and the Super Nintendo Classic. Yeah. So I can play the first two, two, three, first three Zelda games whenever I get around to Yeah, those to ones it. don't matter. You need, you need uh, Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64. That's so expensive. I, know, I have one. I, believe That's so me, expensive. I, I bought it. So like expensive. And I... Speaking of the N64, I got rid of all my really good games. I gave them to my cousin who collects games. Goldeneye, Pokemon Stadium. Yep, they're all gone now. And you know how much they cost now? A lot of freaking money. So I got rid of Goldeneye, Mario Kart, um, Pokemon Stadium, um, Mario Party. Just yep. anything. I already said Goldeneye, right? I mean, yep. everything that was really good, I, I had, and I got rid of it. Game. And for some sick reason, because, you know, I'm sort of a masochist when it comes to games, I kind of want to get Quest 64. It's highly regarded as one of the worst RPGs of all time. Oh, jeez. But I only want to get it because, you A, only play bad games. my friend Kyle brought it over and let me borrow it for a while, and I was, for some reason I wanted to beat that game. And there's another, there's a clip, I don't know if you've ever seen the YouTube show Continue. They'll play a game, and uh, when they're done, basically they're saying a, their way of saying should you play it or not is, would you continue this game? But there's a part where uh, they sing a song by ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, and for some reason they break out into, shoo-wap, shoo-be-doo-doo-wap, while he's running around, Jeez. and it, that just hit me real funny. And I was like, i got to play this dumb game again. All right, back to the back to the podcast. Where are we Oh, now? this isn't a podcast anymore? I'm really glad you slapped the table and... Ooh. Everyone's gonna love that. 
<laughs> emphasis. <laughs> um, what we got derailed? Yeah. What do you think is your rarest, or just your most prized possession, or the most nerdy thing you can Ner- think of? Nerdy, like oh. most prized possession. Probably like the thing that if card. someone was like, "What kind of collection you got?" and you'd be like, "Look, I got this." It's got to be. I, I want to say my Charizard card. It's not like uh, it's not first edition. It's just a hollow Charizard that I pulled from a pack, and I've had for twenty years. I think I have all original one hundred and fifty Pokemon in my collection. I'm about to flex on you. Go on. Um, that's got to be. I'm it. ready to flex on them. That's got to be it. And my my pops. I'm ready to flex. My Goku Super Saiyan 3 pop. Those are all fine and dandy, but I'm about to flex. I hate you. Uncut. You you only need one clapboard marker. Well, there's two. Anyway, so... This is the flex, huh? So, uh, (laughs) now that we're back in position... (laughs) Oh, this is the wrong one! You're an idiot. Oh no, cut again. Thanks for wasting my time. Cut, cut on again. That's cut the wrong one. Moron. Sorry, this one. This one. Yeah, it's this one. Well, duh, why wouldn't it be that? That was, my sister had that one. It's not this one. But that's, those are good too. Is it really not in here? It's probably because I stole them all. You stole all my cards, Billy? Yeah. Where are they? I'm uh, not very impressed with the collection. It's not even in order. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's not even complete. I know it's not complete. Here it is. I don't know why I put it in here. I meant to put it in that. That's the one? Okay, so now that we're back. We didn't do, now that we're back. You gotta stop doing that. Um, I grabbed the wrong binder to flex on him. Twice. Like, twice. But the one he's looking through right now is my jungle and fossil set. This is the flex, huh? All right. I also have this I one. I am missing, yeah, that came free with a, ooh, hello. That came free with a, uh, a deck. That first edition. See, I never got that deck though. But that came from the deck. I never got this. Out the of only all card my I'm years. missing is holographic Clefable. Dude, this is in no order whatsoever. It's in numerical order. Why wouldn't you put it in number of the Pokemon? Because it literally says. Mine goes Bulbasaur. One, two, three, four. That's six, print order. Se- that's an order. You, you dinged on? So he's not impressed. It's the wrong order. He's actually impressed. He's just not trying to get flexed on. Um, I believe I have all these cards. That's the whole base set except for Clefable. I'm pretty sure I have Clefable. And some trainer cards that I don't have. If your flex blew up. It did not blow up. He's, he's trying to play coy. This is nice, though. Is that a hair in there? Yes, there's one minuscule hair you gotta in... got to get it out. We gotta save Charizard. Hold on. It's still in there. Let me show everyone so they think my flex isn't real. Okay, you can put him back in his case now. Alright. We can go back st- to your home. Oh god. We can stop. It's nice and tight. Yeah, we can stop uh we can stop flexing our Pokemon. So that's uh yeah, Pokemon collection's the most prized rarest gaming nerdy perception. You know what's funny? Yeah. I wasn't prepared for this question, but I think we just answered it for me too. But just my most prized thing is that I not only have my old games, it's that I still have the systems and everything to play yeah, them on. Yeah, that's, that's my, growing like, up, my biggest mistake. For like sure. Little things, for instance, my original copy of Tony Hawk 2. I don't know if it'll still play, but, but I have, have it. it. Yeah. Back when, that's it. back when a scratch would really. Oh yeah, the scratches really would kill you. you. Um, 
I'm going to do one simple shout out real quick. I don't have the booklet for some reason. My metal. favorite console of all time is the PS1. And this is the first game I played on it. Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal 2. Mm-hmm. I don't have the booklet for some reason, and I highly doubt this game will run. This no. is my dad's original copy. And I've had to resurface, oh, resurface it well, a few that's times. that's a big one. Is that a scratch or is that a hair? I have no idea. That's a scratch. But I've, you can tell I've had to resurface <laughs> it. Do you use the toothpaste method? No, we had a special thing. The CD buffer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That you could buy from GameStop? Yeah, but this is this is it. The best part is, if I want to listen to it in the car, you can pop that into the CD player. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jeez. That game. Oh, my good lord. I want to... Actually, we should talk about this. Even though Alex isn't here, I'll probably talk about it again. You know what? I'll, I'll leave the full story for when Alex is here. Yeah, because you guys um, have twisted... Yeah. Mm-hmm. My dad no used stories. to rent a PS1 before he had one, and that's the game we would play. That's all I'm going to say about that until I can get Alex on the show. Um, so how about, we've talked about our origin stories with gaming and whatnot. Correct. But now we need to talk about memories we've had together gaming. Together. And when did we meet? How did we meet? I don't know. I thought about this once. I honestly can't I was remember. Like, I don't remember the first time I met Billy. It wasn't at oh, I, I do. I do know. I do. You do? I do. It was the first time I met you, the first thing he asked me is if I wanted to try dip. Wait, was that... No, was that at uh, Dewey's place? Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't. We've known each other longer than oh, that, haven't we? Oh, I know. I don't remember an earlier thing. But uh, I swear, this had to have been the first time. How, how played, long ago was that? Unless we played soccer or something. Or, like, Alex took me to play soccer or something. What year What year was that? Oh, that would have been... 2014. I was say 2014. We've known each other then, longer than five years. I don't know. And then one of the first things we were talking about a lot was the World Cup. Yeah. And that was 2014. But I rem- okay. Since I think this is the earliest one I can remember, we went to a party, and you know I had had a few adult beverages, and uh, this dude asked me if I wanted to try <laughs> chewing tobacco. And I was it like, was yeah. Skull. Oh Winter yeah. Or skull and mint. It, it wasn't in pouches. It was. It was long cut. It was long cut. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll try it. Whatever. I've never tried this before. Let's do it. We were sitting in the tree yeah, in the front yeah. yard. So I had had a few beers. And I, I felt Alex fine. I was there, I too. I felt he was, fine. He had some. Yeah, yeah. He was there. I felt fine. Completely we, fine. I think I was about, maybe we were at about a four. Yeah. Maybe, like, after, like, two or three two or three beverages. Yeah, we felt you know, fine. We're probably about a, at but about a four. But then I stuffed possibly too pretty, much pretty big lip we, possibly we, too much for a first time it wasn't swisher size dip but it was it, was <laughs> it wasn't there. nick swisher size <laughs> that's a whole other story it was a it was a fatty but i popped that in there and i'm like well this is kind of disgusting and he was like well just give it a second let the juices flow and then i'm like and it hit me all at once went, went and my head a, was a four to spinning. 12 and a half oh yeah and i had to lean up against the the tree to make sure I didn't fall. And I just sat at the tree until I felt okay. I remember trying to walk to Dewey's house. And it, it was... Like, I've never been that drunk that I couldn't walk a str- I would, I would... From point A to point B, and I was going... That way. It was even, that bad. Even when I've been all the way gone, I can still walk straight. Nah. It's... I've never been that... Actually, inebriated. I think... Inebriated. Nicotine is the thing that does it to mm-hmm. me. Because when I... 100%. When I dipped, and definitely now when I vape, like when I go to work and I'm really like, oh, I have to go outside and vape real quick. And then when I really hit it, and then I stand up to come back inside, I'm like, oh. But I'm like, you know what? I needed it. So. Yeah. That's when we met? It had to be. I, it, if we have an earlier memory, it's just we sounds, went and played baseball or something. Yeah. But that's one that matters. That one was more memorable. Yeah. Um... But as far as gaming goes, it, I mean, we might have like talked about playing Pokemon like separately. Like Alex was playing it, and yeah. I was playing it, and you were playing it. Those are separate memories. Um, but together, I think the first thing that I remember is when me and my cousin moved in with two roommates, and uh, that was a that's a huge story <clears throat> on its own. Um, but one of the first gaming memories I remember, I wasn't even moved in yet. Like I had a room, but I wasn't ready to move in yeah. yet. And Master Chief Collection had come out. This was this was 2014. Yes. 
Master Chief Collection. So that had out. to happen. That had to happen 2013, because Dewey Dewey moved in there 2014. Yeah, that so must have happened okay. 2013. Yeah. Okay, sounds like Semantics. we've known each other for about seven years. Semantics. Yeah. Um, but we <laughs> we got Master Chief Collection, and I came over to my house. I guess a few of us had it. You had it. Alex Dewey had it, had I think, it. and Alex Dewey had it. had it. And Nick, was Alex's Nick cousin who's MIA that we haven't seen in the longest time, was there and had the game, I believe. And we played with two people I knew online. So we had this huge game going. Was Tom? And, were we playing with Tom? Yeah, Tom and our friend Brandon okay. were there. And uh, we played this big custom, like, for a few, when it worked. Yeah. That's we, the we big thing to say. Like, the net code spent... was so broken in that game we spent more time trying to get in the same lobby and getting the game launched together it's the most fun i've ever had not playing a game yeah trying to play a game i mean i'm sure we had a few beers and we're laughing and whatnot but we were pissed oh yeah we wanted to have a good time and we're not having the good time we wanted but it was an experience we ended up doing split screen after a while yeah yeah and uh when when it did actually work it was awesome yeah we had a lot of fun i think out of we, we tried to play that game for like five or six hours oh yeah and I think all of us together in a game on our own consoles and whatever, I think we genuinely played like five or six games. I think after a while, we, we probably just game made the hour. game length longer by the chance that the game worked. We just play yeah. longer. Yeah. And but then we ended uh, up playing split screen. And then a few more times we got together to play that. <clears throat> and then we realized it was just too broken at the time. Yeah. And then very shortly after that, the Battlefield Hardline beta came out. Yeah. And was that beta? It, yeah. But uh it wasn't that good, really. I really like the map the it was on, but like everybody was talking down on that battlefield saying it was crap and whatnot. And, and if it was, that's fine, but the beta was a lot of fun just get cuz we once again had a bunch of people in the same room playing it. And that's what I think does it a lot of times is if you can get people in the same room. Even if you're playing a game online, if you get people in the same room bantering and whatnot, it's 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 so much more fun to be like okay if we weren't if we weren't going to film this podcast, it wouldn't be the same as if we were in a Discord and recording a podcast. That's you actually know, a good thing we, to bring up. We because... can we can play. You can be on yours. Like look, we did for Call of Duty like two weeks ago. I came over and played on the played on the telly. Yeah, and we watched the Browns game. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. just, it's just more fun. Cleveland Browns, that's another great yeah, story we'll, right now. We'll <laughs> save that for another time. Um, it's just, we've, as a, like, technology in general, we've grown a, apart from being in the same room playing games. Right. But it, sometimes you got to bring that back. The nostal- Like, the nostalgia factor of playing split-screen Xbox, where you have four people on one TV... It's, I'll tell you just, what about that. Best experience. I'm really glad you brought that up because uh, the original Xbox, Halo 2, uh-huh. when you could system link the consoles Land together. Land cables in the back. We would. I went over to my friend Ray's house for a, like an overnight party. I'll call it a sleepover and sound like a child, okay? That's what it was. But uh, he had a bunch of friends over. We all went over there. And we played four people on one TV and four people on the other TV. And this was back when we had the big TVs. The big honking ones, and he had a nice big table, and we put the TVs back to back and played Halo all night. It was awesome. And then uh, I got my own Xbox, and then my friend Ray would bring his Xbox over, and we would play on one TV in my room, and I had a super long cable, and I'd put the, another TV in the other room for the other team. That was so you'd crazy. have like one Xbox in this room, one Xbox in the other room, and yeah. just one and we long couldn't cable hear each connecting. Other. That's the way to do it. See, I had, I have, um... And then between games, we'd, like, run in the other room and be like, you son of a bitch, this, that, whatever. We have, we have the capability to do that at, at my place, at Matt, in Matt's, in his living room slash dining room. It's just such a, it's, in this day and age, when you can just play online, it's so hard to get people in the same room. Yeah. To play a game. It's hard, it's hard, as an, as adults, it's hard to get people to do the same thing at the same time. Cause like Not, look, I mean, your work schedule changes. Mine mm-hmm. changed the last two months. I'm like, I'm off Sunday, Monday, and, and now I'm off on Monday. Off so Saturday, that's, Sunday. that's working right now. Right. But that's one of the things. Since you said like talking Discord or whatever, that's one thing Alex wanted to do with this podcast, and I just yeah, I'd rather do it in the same room. It's yeah. so much better. Yeah. Um, but moving past the Battlefield Hardline beta, 
Then we played Master Chief Collection again then after, split screen. after it was fixed. Yeah. But it was completely split screen then, and we just played four players on the same TV at the house he then moved into. And uh, there were three of us, me, you, and Alex. So, you know, he brought his friend Pat over to be the Pat, fourth. Pat and, and Devin would, would play with us. And we just beat on play. him. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. We had a whole squad. Yeah, Pat. Pat That was sucks. a lot of fun. Pat. <laughs> he sucks at Halo. That's all right, though. Oh, my God. That's okay. Um, <laughs> the uh, the last thing we wanted to hammer on was, uh, all sexual jokes aside, the last thing we wanted to hammer on was the game you have spent the most time on in your life. And mine is, mine's a cop-out, the first one. I, won't, I Not a cop-out. It's one I don't want to call my most, but it is. <sighs> wow. MLB The Show, grinding. Really? really? Grinding on it. I have 21 days played on this ver- this year's version alone, and I took four months off. 21 days. So that's t- 24 hours. I can't do that. It's math. a big number. Okay, so 24 times 21. It's 504 hours just on MLB 19? Mm-hmm. I feel like... Mine's got to be Halo 2 or Halo 3. Or both. The one that I want to say is Skyrim. And I haven't even come close to doing everything that game has to offer. That's the biggest game in the history of time. That, that game's huge. And I know people would say, well, when you do everything, you, when you do the main story and then you do all the guilds and then you do all the quests in one city... You've done pretty much all of it. Yeah. So then when you go to the next city, that's basically just you're doing the same thing. But I have whole main cities that I haven't done anything but what's required. In. I still have 100 hours into that game, so I haven't beaten it. Across three platforms. I bought it on 360 and Xbox One, I think. And I think I have it on PlayStation now. I bought it for the 360 right when mistaken. it came out. That save file has over 250 hours on it. Jesus. And then when the Xbox One version came out, I was like, well, I guess I have to start over. Yeah. Because it won't let you take your save with you. Right. And then I started over. I beat the main story. I I might have gotten like 30 hours into it, and then I had other things to play. And I was like, I just, I'm doing the same things I was doing before. Right. Because I told myself I was going to play as a different race and everything, but yeah. I just ended up being a Khajiit again. Yeah. That it's did like the same he, stuff. I was like, I'm going to be a magic user. When Matt destroyed my hard drive. Or I'm going to be a, a two-handed... Uh, weapon user, user. and I just went just straight. I magic. went straight back to one hand of magic. That's again. the best way to play the game. That is the best way to play yeah. the game. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna use light armor and sneak around and be a rogue. No, no, you're not. One hand, magic, heavy armor. That's the way to play the game. Yeah. Like I'll dabble, but I mean, they're, 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 Skyrim didn't. Even... That's such a great it's, game. It's got it's what's what Fortnite is today is what Halo was. You know, every single day. I would get off the school bus. I didn't do a whole lot of homework when I was in school. I didn't do any homework. When I'm gonna I was be honest school. with you. I had, I'll be honest with you. I had some homework. I, I almost did didn't graduate in, high school. I'm I intelligent, but I didn't class. I don't do school. It just uh, what didn't appeal to me. So I, I mean, after the bus, I would run down the street, go home, eat a quick snack, maybe maybe watch some. Uh, what was on? What was on? So, so it was in the morning. What was on after school? Maybe Pokemon reruns? I honestly don't know. You gotta but, watch Drake and Josh. Yeah, Drake and Josh. Um, that's the first thing I would do. I'd go home, grab a snack, watch some TV. Boom, there I'd go four or five hours in the night just grinding Halo every single night. And I'm Halo 2, I think my max level was like 32 or 36. That's in ranked, though. And that's, I was well, that is, that is true. I, yeah. I wasn't worried about my rank. That is true. Um... In ranked, I was maybe a 36, but you couldn't get to a 50. The only way you get to a 50 is if you cheated the account, and that's mm. when you got banned. Yeah. Um, it's uh, that's that's it. That's what these kids are doing with Fortnite. You know, they come home and they spend eight hours a day on Fortnite, and I realize I'm like, that's stupid. And I'm like, I did the exact same yeah. thing with Halo, but I would not trade my generation for this generation. Absolutely. If not. you could tell me, I could be a 10 year old today. Nope. And I get to do all this over again? Nope. I couldn't do it. I think we I grew up in a very perfect time. And that's what like, I was think. eight, you were six when Pokemon came out? Uh-huh. Perfect. Yeah. That, like, PS2 generation? Yeah. 
like a like teenage years PS2 going into like the 360 era. Right. We switched from PS2 to 360. We yeah, no one got a PlayStation 3. Come I'm on. sorry. Yeah. But that was a perfect era. And uh, like yeah, my situation with Halo 2, I would have been a senior, I think. A junior, because I got I got a 360 when I was a senior. Um, as a junior, my PS2, I had tons of games for it and everything, but I wanted to play Halo so bad that I, when my PS2 crapped out, I sold all the games for an Xbox. Yeah. And Halo 2. And, you know, we didn't have Wi-Fi then, and I couldn't right. hardwire my system, so I had to go into our computer room to play Halo every day. Every day. Yeah. Every day. And then, uh... I had the wireless Xbox router. This was a time when... You didn't need, you know, the Wi-Fi for your phone and everything. Right. So we only used the internet for the computer. And I had a router for the Xbox. Right. And that was it. So I got grounded once, right? And I would come home from school and I would... This is so dumb in retrospect. I would grab the router and I had my TV and my Xbox in the back, back, back of the basement. Yeah. Yeah. And I would hide out down there, really quiet, and like play with no sound until I could hear my mom's car door shut. And then I'd yank the router out, Take run it upstairs, upstairs, plug the computer back in, because I wasn't supposed to be playing Halo. Dude, it's that's I remember specifically. You had I had the router because it was it's a little router that said Xbox on it. Had a little two little antennas. You plug it into the wall and you plug it in the back of the Xbox. I did not have that. And it can and it communicated. I don't freaking remember how I ever did it. I don't because I never had to run a wire upstairs. And um, then they moved to the 360 where you had to plug the USB in and it had that yeah. one in there. And I I remember the second I got that Xbox Live, my whole world changed. Mm -hmm. I I mean, I uh, thousands of hours playing. Halo, and now I just Halo remembered uh, the original Xbox controller. How if big you it hand was? me that. That's the thickness. I didn't have the big one. This is my original one. There's no nubs left on the sticks. I need to buy another one. But this original Xbox controller, you had to plug Sucked. your headset. I actually kind of like it for certain games. For really? shooters and racers, that's it. Could be awesome. But you to play plug it. the headset into the top, and it had a little mute button on it. And you plug the headset into that. Yeah. And it. Went over one ear in the back, and it was wrapped and around it behind wrapped your, around your and neck. It, the microphone and it was like super this. uncomfortable after a yep. few hours of that. And then, well, and then the 360, you had the wireless ones that were like little Bluetooths. I still have one. And I, st I had the Halo Three, the gold or the green and. Gold I had a white one. one, then I got a black one. Yeah, those were cool. I don't know where they I, sound like. To those I mean, if you try to listen through that right now, it probably sounds oh, like. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. I felt like a freaking secret agent though when I got that. Oh, it was uh, mute. My mom comes in my room and I go, bloop. Yes, mother. Uh, yes. Bloop. Just you have to bleep that out. Thanks. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's Halo. Yeah, you got Some, it. He said something that'll get me demonetized. Oh, great. <laughs> Whoopsies. I'll be advertiser unfriendly. That's actually something I want to talk about though, since I'm just I haven't made YouTube content in like six years because I haven't about had about how great you and when you upload this. You have to market specifically not for children, because mm -hmm. I'm sure you know all about. That's the, actually what I wanted to bring up. All the crap. There, you have to live in a sweet spot now, if you want to be a, a YouTuber and be able to sustain it through monetization, mm -hmm. because there's for children, and you're fined forty two thousand dollars a video, and who has that money? Then there's. Advertiser unfriendly demonetized because you're cussing and talking about sexual stuff and whatnot. Right. And drugs or whatnot. And then you got to find that sweet spot down here where you said the F word one time, but it's not for kids. Right. <laughs> so what's the, what's the, do you know specifically what um, the whole kids rule is? Because I read it before I uploaded my Halo video and I was like. It's to I'm protect like, children from. They're being what, targeted. They're it's to protect children ads. from what they don't realize is advertisement directed at them. Yeah. And it was getting out of hand because videos that they knew that kids would watch would have tons of mid-roll ads in them and kids didn't know better. Right. You're not allowed to target kids with advertisements See, here's the thing, like, like I'm not running advertisements, mm -hmm. so I can't get anything 
I mean, I'm not, not sure about that. Me, I would assume. I'm not sure how that works. But I do know that when I got on my YouTube the other day to delete one of my videos that I just didn't want anymore. Yeah. The first thing it did when I tried to edit something was ask me if my content was for children. Yeah. That's that when, when you, cause they up, they change the whole thing when you upload a video now and it's, it's a whole new screen and you can't, it's like, is this video targeted for children? Then you have to look it up. It's like, is it a, cho- a child storybook? I'm like, dude, I'm, this is a mature rated game. And it says, do you want to make your channel mature rated? And I'm like, what's the point? I can make it mature rated. I can't. But then I, I feel can't like say if, what I want to say. If on you it. if you make it a mature rated channel, they're like, oh, demonetized. Yeah, there's there's literally no point. So in it's doing almost it. like you have to be established already. Yeah, there's literally no point. I'm like, I'm just. But uploading then there's big YouTube channels stuff. that they just say whatever they want on their channel, and it's fine because they have a partnership. Yeah. And I'm like, mm-hmm. that's super unfair. Yeah. But it's like, what what are they calling for kids? That's such Story a huge books, spectrum. Like uh, crazy sounds was one of them. Like uh, zany sounds or something for kids. You'll you'll when you go to upload this, okay. you'll read it. But I wasn't sure when they were when they were first like coming out with the language of the rule, right. or the law, I guess. What what's for kids? Is it playing with a three year old's toy and like making cuckoo noises like yeah. oh, you're talking like this towards mm-hmm. children? Or is it, you just never said the F word or anything bad yeah. in your video, so it's for kids. Mm-hmm. Like, by the letter of the law, because this law is very old. It's from the 90s. The online protection for children. For children? Yeah. There's such a broad spectrum there. What is for kids? Yeah. That's weird. I mean, I'm playing games that people would argue the games are for kids. But I'm also playing a game that's mature rate, or well, I guess, teen. T-rated. Because Halo's never mature rated, I don't think. Halo's always been mature, I think. Actually, you're right, it is, because my There's mom gore. had to come to There's, the Halo 3 There's too much launch. blood and stuff. Yeah, my mom had to come to the Halo 3 launch. They don't, don't like cuss or anything, really, but right. it was a shooting just game too much blood. blood. Yeah. Because there's a lot of shooter games that are teen. They just don't have a lot of blood. Right. There's not, like, gore in language. Well, there's no blood in Fortnite. That's why it's rated E for everyone. That game's rated E. It's not rated teen. It must be E10. Could be E10. But either way, there's guns in it. So there's also way. lightsabers in it now, so... Either way. Who knows? So, um, I want to wind down now, but, uh... Now, on Billy's channel, he's going to be posting Halo stuff a lot. Um, but are there going to be... Is there just going to be clips or what? I don't know. Well, I just posted, um... A kind of, like, a tutorial on how to use the jetpack. Because I noticed a lot of people not... Not using the jetpack. A lot of people using active This, this is Halo Reach. Yeah, record. if you use active camo, your mom still dresses you before you go to school. Okay? Like, that's that's it. That's the tweet right there. What about armor lock? You're an idiot. The only, the only time you use armor lock is when a, a giant tank's about to run you over, and then as soon as your armor lock's over, the tank's going to shoot you. Because that's one Why thing I remember when it? the game first came out, everyone was very angry with armor lock. Why would you use it? It makes literally no sense. It makes you a sitting target. The only... The only circumstance is if you're in a 1v3 and you hold off for 5-10 seconds for your teammates to come help you, but the fact is your teammates have been dead for 10 seconds waiting to respawn because they're bad. And you can also use other abilities other than armor lock that are definitely just... I would rather use those. I never wanted to use armor lock. I didn't play that game that much, but I didn't want to use armor lock. Decoys, alright, sprint kind of sucks. It's not for me. It's just... Too many, too many bad teammates playing the game right now. Right, and it, it it makes it it makes it unplayable if you're a solo queuer. I can't I can't play ranked because I go into a game, someone will leave, or someone will get three kills, and if someone gets three kills, I'm in I'm in a one v two almost every single situation, and I can't win every single one v two. So I'll, I'll end a game with eight or nine kills and go negative five. I just can't be playing ranked games anymore. I just don't have it in me. No, I I just get I, I literally sit down. This is before I stream. I'm like, all right gonna play rank now i'm not gonna get upset by my teammates i'm only gonna control what i can control and first game we get to capture the flag okay so i'm like all right fine we're gonna lose anyway three times i go to grab their flag i grab their flag i run the flag back to our base without getting shot three times in a row nobody sees me run the flag and they can never return your flag so you can score here's the thing my teammates are sitting on our base Waiting for me to come in, right? I can't score the flag because my teammates die trying to protect me from going from here to here. And I, I did 95% of the work, and they couldn't manage to do the 5% of the work to get me the cap. 
We lost five to one. <laughs> we lost five to one, and I basically capped three flags by myself. They just couldn't finish the work off at the very last second. So that's your answer to what type of content we should expect? Uh, rage. If you tune into the stream, and I'm playing Halo, there's gonna be there's gonna be some rage. But um, I don't know. Um, there's what about on YouTube. There's a what lot are you of on YouTube. Yeah, there's a lot of content on YouTube. Uh, Matt's actually working on my um, Call of Duty montage, but I don't know how long that's gonna last because all my footage is not edited. Like, it's not cut down, so he's right. going to have to sort through all of it. Um, so if he doesn't do that, I'll do that. Um, Call of Duty montages, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know. There's really not a whole lot. Like, no one watches class setup videos. I mean, I'm not going to drop a nuke in a pub because of skill-based matchmaking. I'm not going to drop a nuke anyway. 30 kills is a lot. It's, and you can't use your kill streaks for the kills. It's just stupid, man. Unless Plus, you have that, uh, I mean, all it takes is for actually, one. Actually, you kid can't to even if you have the perk, you can't nope. do it either. Mm -mm. You have to get thirty kills in a row with your gun. Yeah, the game's over by then usually. Uh huh. It's just, it... I did it twice in a private match against bots. Call just of to Duty see what it was really like. let me down. Like, it's a nine hundred million dollar game. That's just sales in the first three days. That's where we differ. I actually like the game if we just play hardcore mode, because then when we go back to core, I start shooting someone and I stop when I think they should be dead. Yeah. I don't know. I, but I, there's I a few things I did. I'm not. I started with just trying to put all the attachments on my gun and get like a scope and a grip and everything. Right. And then when I realized I'm dying before I can pull my gun up, you can't ADS fast. That's enough. when I only went for things that plus your ADS speed. Yeah. And now I played a lot better. Yeah. I went from going like 11 and 14 every game to going 30 and 6, 32 and 8 every game now. Based on ADS speed. Yeah. yeah completely just based on ADS and not sprinting into areas that I shouldn't be. Right. Like. Not pre-firing, but definitely pre-aiming corners and whatnot. It's just a different game. Because I'm know? not frustrated anymore. That's why I'm not sprinting around being dumb. Yeah, it's... I've played... i played Black Ops 4. I still have your copy of Black Ops 4. Yeah. I played that crap out of that game. And I was in the top... Top 20%, I think, of online in the, in the ranking system. And, I mean, I was good at that game. I was GB good and GB ready for that game. And then they completely put the brakes on it and i'm like and i just couldn't keep up that's another polarizing i like the new call of duty and you really don't and you liked black ops 4 and i really don't mm -hmm. and i dislike black ops 4 so much that multiplayer is my least favorite part of the game i actually like zombies more than it which i've zombies never played fun. i've never played zombies until black ops 4 zombies I liked was it. fun when we played it and blackout i thought was better than multiplayer blackout was pretty cool but it's it's stagnated yeah. After a while, I was like, eh. So we've seen what Blackout is. Yeah, we've seen we've seen the map. It. But uh, now we're. I said we we're gonna wind down five minutes ago, but uh, yeah, winding down on we're my winding. side. Things you can expect from me. I know I haven't posted any videos in six years. Now, in like 2011 is when I started trying to do it, mm -hmm. and I got an internal capture card on a computer that didn't have the power to keep up with it. Right. That blew up. I tried to rebuild it with a new motherboard and whatnot. Ken blew that up. <laughs> well, now you have everything you need. And then right I bought there. another computer, made some videos. Yep. They're out there. But I had technical limitations. That thing wasn't great. Mm -hmm. It was like a $400 Walmart tower just to do some stuff on. That one eventually blew up. Now I've got everything set up the way I would yep. would have wanted it then. So now you can actually expect some content on this channel. And the plan is to reshoot a lot of my old videos and then just delete the old ones. So I'm going to watch those old videos, grab some snippets of things that I talked about that I'd like to bring up again. Yeah. And then just delete those because they're not up to quality. Audio you don't, you don't want to leave them on the YouTube channel to, to look back on? In I've had them sitting see? there and... You know what? I, I'll, I'll see what people say. I, I would leave them up there. I'll leave them up. Because there's, there's like, nothing. A lot of people would be like, no, get them out of there. Aren't you embarrassed by those? I'm really not. No, that's where that's where you no, started. That's, like, that's, your, that's the my, origin story. My FIFA video has three views. You think I'm just going to take it off because it has three views? I don't care. I have freaking 11 subscribers. To... The one thing that really sucks is that it took me six years to get back to making again. Right. Six years to get back to this. But now I'm at the spot <sighs> I want to be at. We've got a podcast going. And uh, you're going to expect Let's Plays from me is what to expect from me. Yeah. 
How and, many? Uh, how many? What's the what's the goal for podcasts? One a month? One, one or two a month? Whenever we can get together and shoot a podcast, yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, whenever I can get somebody else on here to shoot a podcast, I'm gonna do so. And then I plan to also make just videos where I sit here and talk to that camera about yeah. a topic. You need a new. Laptop? You need a new one of these because you could do a traveling podcast. You could take the camera with you. All you need is the camera, the mic, the laptop. Hey, if I have the means. Yeah, I mean, you get your if percentage off. If I end up off, having the means, because this thing's awful. You get your percentage off, and you could probably find one way better than this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have, uh, they have like, uh, Republic of Gamers laptops there, yeah. HP Omens. This thing, I got clearance, and it wasn't even worth the clearance price. <laughs> it has an i3 in it. It sucks. This thing's so slow. Hey, but it has a touchscreen. You oh, my get goodness. A, you get a tablet. Touchscreen. Why isn't the touchscreen? Oh, there it goes. Like, this uh, thing's so slow. Like my beautiful... I have a tablet. My beautiful... Uh, oh, your mic... Yeah, he he's talking about a Surface tablet. Surface, bro. Yeah. I have a Samsung tablet that's better than that laptop. Yeah. That my sucks. Game Boy Color's better than this laptop, dude. Yeah. 100%. My calculator's better than this. All right, so... I so think yeah, we, we should we set a, wind We down. should set a goal for, like, one podcast a month minimum. Yeah. That should be a reasonable goal. Hopefully bi-monthly. We twice should... A month. uh, we could have game days with all three of us yeah. in location. That'll probably be a stream. Yeah. I'll stream more, too. Did Whenever, you, you know, time permitting. Did you decide what platform? Mixer. Mixer. Yes. 100%. I like a few of their features more than Twitch. I like both of them. There's nothing wrong with either yeah. of them. I just like Twitch a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that's a slip. I just like Mixer a little bit more. Um, things you can expect on Mixer are just literally any game I'm playing at the time that doesn't warrant its own Let's Plays. So, like, Truck Simulator? Truck Simulator. I'm not making Let's Plays of that. I'm just going to sit and chill and play that. Yeah. Like, if I'm sitting and playing MLB The Show, I'm not making Let's Plays of that. Right. Let's Plays are going to be reserved for... New games? games Single-player games? No, no, no. Like, old games, too. So, like, any game that is conducive to a Let's Play and not streaming it. Right. So, like, if I'm going to play... I already lost my reference or uh, my game I was going to refer to, but uh, if I'm going to play a game like Twisted Metal, right, that has set levels. That's for a let's play. I could talk over that, and it has stopping points. A game right. like Grand Theft Auto. I'm going straight back to the the ones I've already done let's plays on. Yeah, but Grand Theft Auto, it has set missions. I can cut those, cut those, cut those, and then I'll cut out. You know, if I go run around to grab hidden packages or whatever, I'm cutting that out. I'm not making you watch that. But there's, a, there's games that are conducive to streaming and games that are conducive to Let's Plays. So that's the plan. And then hopefully today I'm also going to shoot a video where I talk to the camera. Yeah. We're going to get some content out there. This channel's not going to be stagnant anymore. Last words? Last words? Binding contract? This channel's not going to be stagnant? Absolutely. Okay. You can hold me to that. Holding. You're going to see stuff come up Holding. on this channel. Repeat things for emphasis. So, emphasis! <laughs> So, uh, to wind down, you guys have a great day. (laughs) You guys have a great day. Be nice to each other. Make the world a better place. We'll see you next time. Is that your outro? Pretty much. Oh, jeez. You don't like that? Cut. Is it too nice? Is it too nice? I'm trying to spread positivity, Bill. Ugh. Um, we have a problem. What? We never checked the camera to see if it was working. The camera was recording. It was? I set it to record. No way. No way. We didn't check the camera. We might have a problem.